and I think that that would also go very well with my orange hair or whatever it is I'm going to have we'll see <laughs> there's definitely something going on it's so good it's so good to be dying today is this Artist Fox Sunset Orange. I'm very excited about this. This is a color that I never had. This is a color I never thought I would uh, do. Oh, it smells. It smells from the cap. I've seen a lot of other girls uh, using this and coloring the hair with this. No one said that it smelled like this. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so I watched a lot of girls because I'm so tired of my hair. You see, I had a hair plan. I've been wanting to grow out my hair for years. I think for the last seven years, I've been trying to grow my hair out. Um, and it hasn't gone so, so well. I needed to cut it several times because I lost so much hair and also because I bleached my hair and things like that. So today we will not be bleaching my hair we're going to put this color directly on my natural hair color and i have no idea how that is going to turn out i have no idea i don't know if it's gonna be nothing if there's gonna be just a little hint of orange if there's gonna be very orange if it's gonna be some kind of coppery color or if it's gonna go more to red I have no idea, but it's going to be interesting to see. And I just felt like I wanted to do something, you know. Is uh, We can start with why I chose Arctic Fox. Let's start with that. I, I chose this brand because I heard a lot of good things about it. And also because it's crudely free and vegan. And that is always a good thing. When you have the possibility to get something that's cure free um, I say go for it if you if you cannot um, sometimes you cannot you can't sometimes you can't but when you can just try to, to choose the alternative that is best for the environment and best for the animals uh, I also bought some gloves to that I can't get into it now what is this bag? Oh, no. Do I have a scissor? Okay, hang, hang on again. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> and then I feel like... Okay, here we go. Okay. This is the gloves that I bought. Um, let's see, how many pairs did I get? The idea behind this is that I will try to see if I can reuse them. Since they're a bit thicker, I figure if I'm careful when I apply the color to my hair, I can be able to, I will be able to um, rinse them off and reuse them a few times. Because we do want to like, we do want to, to save on the environment as much as we can and also save our monies, our hard-earned hard monies. Okay, so why do I want to color my hair orange? I never thought I would. Yeah, like pink. Pink is lovely. Purple. Purple is lovely. It's actually one of my favorite colors. I know I have a red couch, but yeah. <laughs> but now, yeah, orange. Yeah, orange. I have a lot of like colors in my wardrobe that I think would go well with orange hair, which is very interesting. Um, I have um, a bit of like a, uh, like a turquoise green. I have some dresses with like patterns that would go well to, to orange hair and 
Yeah, I can show you. I can show you. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. This half my my wardrobe. Okay. Let's see here. So this is the one that I was talking about. This is like a turquoise green color and I think that that would be something that would be good with orange hair I do feel like I have colors that would suit orange hair just like this this is a lovely color this is actually one of my new favorite colors it's a kind of burgundy one the same as this one I never actually worn this one. It was a second-hand fine. Strappy thing. There, I think that would also be very good. With orange hair. Um, this one as well. With this prints. I do feel like I'm, I'm, I've been shopping for a person that has more red in their hair than, than I have. And that's the same. And then this one, this is so dainty and so cute, I can't wear it, it's too small for me, but it's so cute, and I think that that would also go very well with my orange hair, or whatever it is I'm going to have, we'll see. <laughs> but yes! Okay, are we ready? Are we ready with this? Are we ready? Are we ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna take this off for starters. And I'm starting to get nervous now. Oh, yo, 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 you see here more, more of my same favorite colors. Yes. Um, okay. So what do I have? I have the Arctic Fox Sunset Orange hair color and um, semi-permanent I should say, semi-permanent, a semi-commitment. I have the brush. We should all have the brush. I do not have the bowl that goes with the brush, I have this. This is an old vanilla ice cream plastic container. But it works just as well, I think. And then I have the black gloves that I will try to see if I can reuse. And I will let you know if I can. So we're gonna try to be, oh, I got, Okay, so I'm gonna try to be as careful as I can both with the gloves and my hair and stuff that I have around here I took off my black um, Shirt like you can see and I know like a lot of people I'm also removing my white bathroom mat Okay, I know that a lot of people put on t-shirts when they dye the hair but I think having a tank top is the best because then you don't get any color on that at all. <sighs> yeah, unless you spill on it, of course, like it drops down. But I'm gonna try not to do that. I'm gonna be careful, like I said. Careful. Okay, gloves are on. Okay, and now I'm nervous. Okay, we just have to have that like little uh, nervous moment before something exciting is gonna happen. Been wanting this all week and now it's actually happening. Oh yeah, I almost forgot this. Wow, okay. Oh! I'm gonna try to be more careful than that. But okay, this, we're plopping this in. This, we're plopping it in. Ooh! Ooh, how much should we plop? 
I don't know. It's more than that, I fear. I did read the instructions. So this morning before I went and got the package, I showered and washed my hair only with shampoo, not with conditioner. And then I dried it. It's super dry now. So yeah, now we're plopping Ooh, it on here. <laughs> ah. Why is it such a weird angle on this brush? It feels weird. Okay, okay, we're off. We're off. Don't know if it's a good start, but it's a start. We're off to a start. Okay. Yeah, don't take too big clumps that will definitely fall on the floor. Oh, okay, I used up all of it. So now I'm done. I come through my hair, I used up everything, every little bit um, in this bottle. And I can't comb it through and I saturated like all my hair and my neck and my back <laughs> with orange. So now I'm gonna put the bag on and I'm going to clean up the edges here and see if I can clean up this too. But first I'm gonna clean up the gloves. So I'm just putting some uh, um, soap on them and washing them like this, like they were my hands. And there we go. This did not break. I have no orange on there. I have orange there, but nothing on my hands. So the oh, okay. And that one seems to be intact as well. No color on my hand, and uh, I didn't ruin it by taking it off. So there we go. There we go. I have two reusable gloves. Two gloves I can use again. Saving the environment and saving money. Yay. And then I have <clears throat> a plastic bag from the store. Uh, it's uh, recyclable. And nowadays I don't buy this anymore. I buy the I buy the what are they called? I can show you. I buy these for all my fruity needs. <laughs> I buy these for all my fruity needs. Okay. So here we go. very easy to remove I have to say with just it's just a little bit of water ah, okay then then all we need to do now is wait yes For this to dry oh, oh i'm not scared anymore oh oh my maybe i did not wash it out properly i don't care oh 
I saw a video with a girl doing this for like I think literally an hour. She just did this. She didn't have um what do they call it now? A diffuser either. So she had one of those like um, drainer things that she put her hair in. Maybe we can do that. I would really like to get a hair diffuser. I, I can't really see myself doing this. It's some um, coppery, it's something, it's something. I can't wait for it to to dry so I can see what it is. So I can see what it is. Oh, there's something. It's definitely something. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enough of that. Oh. I will keep doing this and uh, I will be back when my hair is dry and I will have fixed my makeup up a bit and we're gonna try on some of the clothes to the hair see how the hair looks and uh, yeah try on some clothes and see how that looks I'm excited are you excited I'm excited are you excited I'm excited I'm excited see you in a bit see you in a bit okay people are you ready for this? Are you ready? Look at that! Look at that color! What? What? Can you see that? It's so good it's so good don't you think I did not know what to expect and this oh, excuse me oh. this this is awesome this is awesome this is like some like copri mahogany um reddish thing and i love it just look at my eyes if the camera wants to like pick that up look at my eyes and i put on this dress which makes my eyes pop a little bit and also i've been wearing this lipstick the whole day uh, and when i was recording and now i also feel like with this hair color and the eyes and the dress, everything is like popping. Like before, I looked a bit like drab and boring, and now I'm like, woohoo! Hello there! Hello! <sighs> awesome. Like here's the dress I was talking about that would look good uh, if this would have turned out more orange. But I don't know how this is going to look when I wash it. Like I have no idea how long this is going to last, how it will look after I wash it. If it's gonna be more like coppery then. Or orange I mean. Like I really enjoy this color. And it's gonna be interesting to see what will happen to it. But yeah, I do feel like this complements me a little bit more now. This is one of the other tops I was talking about. This is a velvety one. So it's a bit hot to have now in the middle of summer. And this is the top I was talking about that is too small. That's from H&M. And I also think that the colors on it now goes very well with my hair and my lips. It's so cute. I really hope I can get into it soon. 
It's so tight. It's so tight. I just can't get over this color. It's so intense. It's so bright. So is the sun. Sorry. Sorry about that. But the one thing like I didn't think about because I do have like different kind of lipsticks. I have my eyeshadow palettes. The thing was like I didn't think about my eyebrows. Do you think if this is a color that I, I really enjoy and I want to stay in, do you think I should color my eyebrows then? Or do you think that they suit? That they suit this hair here. This hair hair. The hair I have hair. Should they be a bit redder? I don't know. But yeah, the eyeshadow palettes that I have, it is uh, Lime Crime, it's very used, very used, and uh, like my favorite colors in this to use are like the red ones. I know that these are the most <laughs> used ones, that's what I'm wearing now, but like otherwise I really do enjoy these colors. I don't wear them as often, unfortunately. I wear the mo two most boring bland ones, but I do like how that looks when I have a strong lip, that the eyes are um, simpler. But yeah, I do love these red ones in this one. And I also have the Melani Lusterlight. Here we go, I always keep the protective things on. And it also have like those kind of colors. Here I dabbled like in, in all of them, you can see. So the question is, if I use these, will that be too orange? I guess that depends on what else I'm wearing. But otherwise that would go good with my dress. And the sparkly thing here, I think that would go good. Also with my dress and my hair. I think that these, Will all work? Maybe that one um, is a bit better than that one or that one. But the only thing I can do is try. So that's what we're gonna do. Not now though. <laughs> but I'm going to play and test and see how that goes. I also have the Milani Roches. I have three. I have two with me here. And I have the most used one. I have no idea the name of it. Uh, but it looks like that. I'm wearing that now. And I think that that works good too. And I also have this one. Can we see what this is? This is the Coralina. Coralina, as you can see, it's very coral. So the question is, is that going to be too much? Or is that going to be just enough? It's all about like what are the colors you put onto it. Hmm. Should I do like that? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I'm going to play around. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play around with uh, my colors and the clothes that I have and see see what, what fits, what I like, how I like this. I like it a lot right now. Ooh. I like it a lot right now. Okay, some final words then. Uh, Artex Fox very good i like to use that product i love the result i'm very happy with it um, i'm gonna get a diffuser i'm gonna try to use the gloves again um, i hope i can reuse them several times i hope that you try too thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you soon bye 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 hey Doa. hey